Hey guys, I believe I just received a multimeter from AliExpress, so I'm gonna compare it to my other ones. Yep, sure enough, this is three dollar and sixty two cents. Not shipped, unfortunately. I have to pay shipping. This is from the U.S., but I can get it from China for about four dollars. Comes with a manual, but we don't need that. So let's turn it on. Probably doesn't come with a battery. Requires a 9 volt battery, I guess. Pretty snug. Okay. Nice display. It's just as nice as that one. They are all nice displays, actually. There are much cheaper multimeters, but this is one of my criteria. I want the multimeter to have a beeper. So when you're doing a continuity test, you could actually hear it and not have to actually look at the screen. That's why this is a little bit more expensive at $3.62. Probes are pretty flimsy, just like the one I got from Harbor Freight here. Actually, they may even be the same probe. Wow, look at that. <laughs> it looks exactly the same. This one comes from Harbor Freight in the US. This comes from, well, actually, this also comes from the US, but I've seen it on AliExpress from China for maybe $5 with free shipping. So let's hear this beeper. See, this one doesn't have one, and I did not like that. So let's go here. Not bad. Pretty loud. Compare that to this one. A little bit more stable sound. This one has a little rusty. If I make a good contact, it, it doesn't seem to... But it's just when I start rubbing it around. It has a transistor tester. That's kind of nice. Yeah, but other than that, it's just a regular multimeter with current, resistance, DC voltage, and AC voltage. So let's uh, see how accu accurate they are compared to each other. Let's do DC voltage. DC voltage, 20 is the lowest. DC voltage, 20. Okay, according to my desktop power supply, it's 5 volts. So let's see how these guys compare. I don't think I could hook them all up at the same time. So I'm gonna have to hook up one at a time. This that guy here, he is the most expensive at about 20 bucks or so. Hmm? 503. So let's look at this one. Let's not do it backward. 502. <laughs> let's see where this guy is at. Whoa! <laughs> he's, he's only 0 0.01 off compared to the real voltage. It has a stand, that's kind of nice. So this actually stands up at an angle. Um, and I accidentally pressed this earlier. That's really nice. So basically you can use this in the dark. So I, I don't know how you turn it off. Uh oh. I don't know how you turn it off. It probably just um, fades out by itself later. But for 362, about maybe five dollars shipped from China. I think I'm gonna stick with this and use it in my Arduino class that I'm going to be teaching some kids, so they can use the multitester to look at, you know, digital write, and then they could actually see the voltage at five volts, and teach them how to do. Oh yeah, let's do the resistors. That's just a one K resistor. Set them all. Two K. So this is a big one. nine eight seven so 13 ohm short but then again that could be just my cheap resistor here nine nine three a little closer these two are about the same then but yeah it measures resistance just fine so i think this will work for my class if you guys know of any other multimeter that is cheap and has a beeper please put it on the comment. Thanks for watching guys. I'll talk to you guys later.